Well, there she is. Where? Right here. Ed, uh, this is not the car I ordered. You know, I think you're right. I don't think this is the car. This is the new Wagon Queen family truckster. You think you hate it now, but wait till you drive it. Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with a new project and one that I've been looking forward to for quite some time. The Family Truckster from the Classic Movie Vacation. Now this is a 3D printed resin body from Robert Burns at Too Many Projects. If you've not checked out his stuff yet, I'll include a link in the description down below and highly encourage you to do so. He does a lot of interesting and unique bodies especially if you were looking for stuff from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Uh, got a few TV and movie cars in there, a lot of Mercury, Pontiac, uh, brands that don't always get the styrene treatment that they deserve. So, of course, as soon as I saw that he had one of these available, I had to pick it up. And just real quick, before we take a look at the kit itself, I'll just show you what it comes packed in. It's one of these usual white cardboard boxes that you usually see resin kits in, but has a nice little write-up on the side of it, you know, who it's for, what's in it, includes a little checklist there, when it was made. So it's nice for shows as well as for just seeing what you get. Now, as far as the body itself, uh, generally very, very impressive work here. Uh, as you can see, it's very sharp casting. Got some nice detail work on it, like the radiator here up front. It does have a little bit of scuffing on the upper surfaces. Uh, I'm not sure if that was something that was part of the print or part of the shipping. But, uh, that ought to buff out easily. Nice work on the wood grain sides here. Got the raised edges there nice and sharp. Door handles look good. All the trim looks nice and crisp. I do have a little crack here back in the D-pillar. Again, I'm not sure if that's a stress thing or if that happened during shipping, but a little CA glue will take care of that. Let me just take a look down the driver's side here. It is very, very clean work here. And if you look inside, it's got nice clean work inside too, with nice thin walls, so it is going to be very easy to add as much or as little detail as you want. I've not tried opening any panels on one of these kits yet. I might give that a shot, though. Other things that you get with this kit, you get a parts tree that has the hubcaps and the roof rack. And those look nice and sharp. You've got the infamous front end there and the bumpers. And again, you look at the grill, you look at the headlight and marker light buckets, very nice sharp work there. You've got a second tree here that includes some window blanks. So you can paint these if you want to have opaque windows in it, or like I'm going to do, you can use these as templates so that you can cut it out of clear plastic, get those installed. You've got a bag of other parts, and it too has a little checklist here on it. Kind of a nice touch. But taking a look at what comes in that, got a little tiny Wagon Queen hood ornament here. That's nicely detailed. And you get a pair of side view mirrors. Again, Looks nice and sharp. Got a little lip there for the glass. We've got a rear window, which doesn't look that great, but that's okay. Works as a good template. Uh, we've got all of the lights. We've got four tail lights, eight headlights, all the marker lights. Uh, that's going to be an interesting process getting all of these installed, but uh, I am looking forward to seeing what it looks like once it's all put together. So there is everything that comes with the kit. Now, when I showed off the end of the box, you may have noticed that it was listed as a brown high-resolution resin, and that's what this looks like. He also offers a white medium-resolution kit. And so for comparison, this is the 1981 Dodge MS4 Wraith kit that he offers in the medium resin. And you know, generally, they both look really good. 
Now they're both pretty smooth. Neither one of them has the stepping or layering that you'd see with some of the lower resolution kits or the old prints. Uh, and looking at the taillight panel on the Wraith car, you can see it does still have the appropriate texture, but it is not quite as sharp as the brown. Uh, you know, looking at the groove in the surround of the wood grain on the tailgate there, you look at things like the door seams, the window surrounds, for a car like this, this is perfect, but if you've got something that's got a lot of trim, you definitely want to go for the brown resin. It's, it is worth the extra effort. Now, get this out of the way here. Now, what I'm going to be using for the rest of this kit is this guy here. So, of course, the Truckster is based on the Ford LTD station wagon, and there is a Crown Victoria kit out there that would make a base that was just about perfect for it, but because this is supposed to be a fictitious brand, I didn't want to use just a straight Ford chassis. I kind of wanted something that was similar to, but legally distinct from. And uh, taking a look at the Batmobile chassis here, it's got that classic American front engine, rear wheel drive, body on frame construction that would be perfect for the Truckster. And, uh, comparing the two, the Batmobile does have a longer wheelbase, so I will need to trim that down. And the floor is a little bit wider, so I'll have to narrow that, but not by much. Uh, shortening the frame is going to be the longer process, and even that, I don't think that's going to be too bad. So there we go. Finally going to be able to add the Truckster to the TV movie car collection. Very happy with what I'm seeing here from Robert Burns and Too Many Projects. Again, I'm going to put a link down below if you want to check it out. So I'm going to get to work on this. I will have an update on it next week, so check back then, and thanks for watching.